want to show you a picture. Tyler, if you don't mind pulling this up. This is a 1970s beach photo. I don't know how closely you can see what's going on there, but you have to, you're like looking, everybody looks fit. Everybody looks like they've been to a gym. You don't see obesity. You don't, you have to really comb through to see, huh, what's going on here? And you have to ask yourself why. What's interesting about this is that it wasn't a time where gym culture was a thing, right? Gym culture is new. Gym culture is something we do now. That wasn't what it was like then, but you know what people were doing back then? They were getting outside. They were active. They weren't on their phones. They were hanging out. They were playing volleyball. They were, do they were doing something. What's horrifying to me about this is that you walk around, seriously do it, pay attention to kids. There are some, and I'm not going to sugarcoat, there are some very fat kids running around. Okay, now I know the baby fat on the infants is cute and all that. That's different. I'm talking about five-year-olds, six-year-olds, chunky, heavy, reaching for, watch what they, I take my kid to the playground. You would not believe the snacks that I see. Hartley comes over to me. He's got, you know what we bring? Nuts. Dehydrated, raw. He's got walnuts, pecans, uh, pistachios. Sometimes we'll, you know, bring him a banana. He'll have some little fruit in a cup he likes. He likes strawberries. That's it. I see what I see, Dunkaroos, you know, those things you dunk in with the icing, old school fun dip. I'm like, what? Crazy snacks, everything in a, in a bag, everything packaged. And you see these little kids that are overweight, not in a healthy, I'm not talking about robust, you know, cause my kid is, uh, he's got, he's got traps. It's crazy. He's like, mm. I put a picture up recently and I was showcasing his muscles because he eats a ton of grass fed meat. Like he'll sit and eat two hamburgers, like pff, done. Um, it's scary what's happening. This obesity stuff is scary. I'm glad to see Bill Maher. Bill Maher doesn't give a shit. He doesn't give a shit. He makes a lot of money. He's got an audience that expects him to say what's what. Good for him. He talks about, he was the, remember when he really started taking heat? When he was talking about, you know, radical Muslim extremism, took heat for that. He'll talk, he talked about the vaccine and the mandates too. He was like, what the hell, man? What's going on? And now, and he's not a conservative, right? He's not. He'll talk about this now because it's disgusting what's going on. These magazines don't care that they're complicit in undermining the health and wellness of people, particularly women, I'll say. I see it a lot more with women around the country that are now obese and they're like fat and proud with a big t-shirt and a big ice cream. No, no, let's empower those people to, to have options to get healthier. We just got through COVID, didn't we? Went through that whole big thing with comorbidities and this, that. And what we found is that obesity was a comorbidity, that if you were obese, you were more likely to get chronically sick from COVID. In the beginning, right away, land in the hospital or to develop later problems, right? With your lungs, with this and that. So let's just be honest about it. If you want to be fat, great, be fat. Like, I don't care. But let's be honest about what that does to your body and your overall health. And for a long time, people were afraid to say it. And now I'm glad to see he's not. And when you think about that beach photo, really, honestly, take a minute. Go to a beach now. Go to a beach. And they do this too with the dad bod. Now, I like... I do. I like a little meat on a man. I've said that. I don't need you looking like you haven't. You've eaten nothing but, you know, salad for the last five weeks. I like a little meat. I do. I like a healthy, you know, a little ruddy complexion. That's my taste. But take a look around. Now that's the dad bod. Now people I hear saying, oh, no, I want to see more love handles. I want to see a shaken belly. I don't want to see all that. You know why? Because it's not healthy to carry weight around your middle as a man. It's not. And I'm not going to be like, oh, like, excusing that. No, we got to be honest with people. It's not healthy. 